Hello, it is Monday, October 10th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. We are starting the crossword solving week today, so we have a nice, approachable, themed Monday puzzle. At least, I hope that's the case, because this is another one of those days that sometimes occurs in which I need to be uh, quick. I need to solve this quickly, get the video over with, because I'm on a bit of a deadline. Uh, but that shouldn't be any problem. That should be perfectly appropriate to today's puzzle. And this accelerated edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by overfull hitbox Joseph Schwalbach, and, as always, the inestimable hood monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. Keeping this channel going, keeping this series going, I do very much appreciate it, as I do the efforts of everybody who has become a patron of the channel. So thank you to all of you. You have access uh, as a result to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And of course, benefactors can get the Daily Self Let's uh, Check the Crosses mug, which can be found at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video, where you can also find a link to the Daily Solve Discord chat server community. So do check that out as well. And um, also, there's been, uh, I put up a new video on the main channel, just um, on this channel yesterday. It sort of, it was an interesting thing. I solved a large, uh, a, sun, a Sunday Times cryptic crossword, the Times Times of London, that is, not the New York Times, um, alongside the constructor of that very puzzle. Dean Mayer, a.k.a. Annex, who is an extremely, extremely prolific cryptic crossword constructor, has written, has has set crosswords for many British newspapers and um, is now one of the three uh, rotating setters of the Sunday Times cryptic. And so I essentially solved that puzzle with Dean in my ear on, on, on audio. And it's really interesting. And he helped me out from time to time. He um, explained his thought process from time to time. We just we sort of had a discussion while I was solving this crossword. It's a long video; it's about an hour and a half long. So, um, but do check that out if you're if you're interested in seeing how a cryptic crossword works, or if you're just interested in cryptic crosswords already. And that's that's up on the channel. And um, and I think that's that. So let's go ahead and thank you to Dean for um, spending all that time. Uh, on that video. That was generous of him and very enjoyable. Okay, so let's get on to the puzzle. Today's puzzle. This, as noted, is a Monday crossword. It was constructed by Byron Walden, who I think has constructed over 100 crosswords for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Apparently I forgot to say that bit about Will Shorts yesterday. I'm very sorry. Did not intend to cause distress. Fusses in front of the mirror, say. I mean, that could be primps. Gets, gets yourself, get yourself ready. Farfalle, fettuccine, or fusilli. Those are pasta shapes. And because this is an or clue, we're just going to have singular pasta. It's farfalle or fettuccine or fusilli. Any one of those is a pasta. Transplant as a flower. You could repot a flower. And if you're boiling mad, you're irate. Very angry. To bog down is to, you could be mired in a mire. You could mire yourself in a mire, bog yourself down. And dish with chicken veal or eggplant familiarly, uh, parm. Um, so chicken parmesan or veal parmesan, which really uh, parmigiana is sort of the, the dish from which this derives in uh, Italian. It doesn't really have anything to do with parmesan cheese nor chicken. It would be an eggplant dish typically. Or aubergine. Um, okay, so inadvertent error is what? A slip, maybe? And like outdoor photos taken from above, aerial, aerial photography is taken from above. And an opponent who helps train a boxer is a sparring partner. So it looks like we have a, this is a theme clue because we can see the revealer of the puzzle has been revealed to us down there. And that will be the answer that explains what's going on thematically with the various connected clues. So let's just glance at that. Place in an auto dealership to pick up wiper blades or spark plugs. Oh no, sorry, that's 60 across. I always do this. This this clue is common miniature golf goal or a hint to what's found in 17, 39, and 60 across. 
I don't know. Oh, I spelled partner incorrectly. I'm sorry. Ponder is what I think I put. Strange. Common miniature golf goal. Common goal. Is the is the goal not always the, the hole, as it would be in any golf game? Not sure. Let's look at the downs here. What a protractor measures. It measures uh, degrees of an angle. And like onion or garlic skin, papery, very papery skins of those vegetables, those roots. Letter after zeta. Is it eta? I never really, I never learned the Greek alphabet in order. Blank the Explorer, Dora the Explorer. I've certainly heard of that, a children's program. And if you crudely mimicked something or someone, you aped them. Here we have peacekeeping groups since 1949. There we go, NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And operatic solos are arias. So um, songs from operas for a featured voice, a featured singer. And then what is this? Symbolic carving is a totem pole. There we go. What goners have? Goners have no chance. They have no life. They have goners have no... Oh, I don't know. That's annoying. Parsley, sage, rosemary, or thyme. Once again, another uh, list of, an, of ore clues. So a herb, only one of them, not the whole... Not the whole list, but just any one of those four is a herb or an herb. Okay, if something will happen to you, it will befall you. And precisely is yes or yep? Not sure. I'm guessing it's yes, but let's look at the cross. Ish. Yeah, ish. Uh, it's, I don't know, there are 40-ish. They're sort of, that's uh, not a good example, but you see what I mean, sort of. It was cold-ish. It was sort of cold. It's a little bit better. Okay, a gastrophile is a foodie, someone who loves food. And gastrophile, of course, having the same root as gastronomy, you know, cooking and food science and all that. Brain tests in brief. Um, EEGs, I think. Electroencephalograms. Let's check the cross here. Yes, a female sheep is a U. Straightforward as that. And combo offerings at nail salons are many petties. Manicure, pedicure, combos, combo offerings. Okay. Show hosts, for short, are MCs, masters of ceremony. Sometimes, um, sometimes this is spelled out E M C E E S, but not today. Titles for knights could be sirs, uh, knight title to sir. And a tuna type in sushi restaurants is ahi. You often see that in tuna restaurants, ahi. And a Cabernet or Mer Merlot sold in a box, say, so these are wines. Wines sold in a box are generally cheap wines. And again, this is yet another or. We're big on or clues today. Cabernet or Merlot sold in a box, say, uh, any one of those is a cheap wine. And the say, I suppose, means it doesn't strictly need to be. This isn't really a definition of a cheap wine. It's just an example of it. So Cabernet or Merlot sold in a box, say, that's probably a cheap wine. Okay, most difficult challenge for many a student driver. Parallel parking, I bet. Yeah, there we go. That is a challenge when you're learning how to do it, I would say. And here we have blank doke, okie doke, you might say. Actually, I wonder if that's spelled E-Y. That looks a little better with these crosses. I could imagine it being spelled in either manner, but here I bet it's this way. Yes, a YouTube button is play. You've, well, I was going to say you've done that today, about uh, eight minutes ago, but but probably not, because you might be on, an, on a platform in which it auto plays. Okay. Tropical fruit with highly nutritious seeds. Oh, interesting. Is it a papaya? That fits, but I, I'm not actually, it's not knowledge I had, but let's check the cross here. White dogs or bluish gray cats are Maltesers. Oh, interesting. I don't know that I'm familiar with Maltese dogs. This is a funny, he had another or clue. And yet, in this case, the or, each of the two or options is itself plural. So white dogs or bluish gray cats, we're only referring to one of the two sides, but each of those sides is a plural. So we do get the S. So all sorts of configurations of or clues today. A stately shade tree is an elm. And a coastal vista is a... 
A cliff face, maybe? No. What about this? Blank Bell fast food chain. Well, Taco Bell is an American fast food chain. Um, and they, they exist overseas. I have seen some of them. I think they're a very small number here in the UK. What goners have? Oh, they have no hope. Why didn't I think of that? There we go. Lead into la. Oh, I didn't see this clue. Lead into la la. Tra la la is a common uh, just sort of nonsense song refrain. And Spotify or TikTok, yet another or is an app. Spotify or TikTok is an app. Okay. Health resorts are spas. And so simple. Not sure. Let's keep looking. Credential for a painter or a sculpture, an art, a sculptor, an art degree, probably. Yeah, that looks like that fits. So what do we have up here? Bygone Russian ruler, a czar, um, like the Romanovs. Or happy as blank, happy as a clam. It's a common, common saying. And to dial a radio show, say, is to call in, to call into that radio show. This looks like seascape. Yeah, coastal vista is a seascape, right? Okay, I was thinking of the land side of the vista, but should have been should have been thinking more about the ocean because that's particularly relevant to coastal. So a seascape, and then related to stars is astral. Airport code for Australia's largest city. Well, Australia's largest city, although not its capital, is Sydney, and that that is the airport code, presumably. I'm sure it is. I'm I'm sure I've seen that before. End of a soldier's email address, dot mil, I guess, dot for the for military uh, URLs, military web addresses. Okay, here we have lively energy pep, maybe. Let's check the crosses on that to make sure. So simple, easy peasy. There you go, easy peasy. Uh, lemon squeezy or difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Here is to put it mildly. And... Um, Sorry, I'm just thinking of the, that lemon difficult thing as a bit from the film in the loop, and then I couldn't stop laughing to myself about it because it was a very, it's a very funny scene. Okay, narrative transition is a segue, and California Valley, known for its vineyards, is Napa Valley, um, just north of Cal. Oh, sorry, not north of California, north, just north of San Francisco. Things stuck on file folders are labels. And a red flower of wartime remembrance is the poppy. Um, much much more common here in the UK than in, than in the US, um, wearing a poppy or a sort of poppy emblem, especially in uh, remembrance of uh, World War One, the Great War. Lead singer for Culture Club, Boy George, singer of Culture Club. And to hold firmly is to grab, maybe? It seems plausible enough. Uh, Sicilian stratovolcano would be Mount Etna, um, famous, famous, uh, notorious volcano, I guess. And the wire character portrayed by Michael K. Williams, the great, the great, one of the great television characters, Omar, Omar Cummins. Okay. Actor Spiner of Star Trek, the next generate, next generation print, print Spiner. I know of him. He played the, uh, Android character on that, on that program. I've seen it sort of scattered. That was one of those shows I remember. Sort of, I've never really seen it in sequence, but it was one of those shows that felt like it was just always on television when I was young. So I definitely saw scattered episodes. And the vice president who resigned in 1973, Agnew, Spiro Agnew. And what about this? Belly up to the bar. Belly up to the bar. You might coax someone. And having a throwback style is retro. So something is back in fashion, or or you're you're making it so. Place in an auto dealership to pick up wiper blades or spark plugs is a, oh the parts department, right? That's so weird. When I was, I saw this earlier because I was clicking on this and I saw that, and for some reason I was thinking of, I wasn't thinking of an auto dealership. I was thinking of a service station. I was thinking I don't know, I'm not sure what I was doing. Doesn't matter. That was a pointless thing to relate to you. A tater is a spud, a potato, and to take advantage of someone or something is to use them or it. And a paintball filler is dye. I've never actually played paintball, but it's the game where you shoot little uh, spheres of dye at people and they explode so you can see who you've hit. Quentin Tarantino's film, Pulp Fiction. And channel showing game highlights. This looks like ESPN 
the the sports network in the U.S. and prone to if you're prone to prying into other people's business, you're nosy. And then we will see here a couple of musicians is a duo, two musicians is a duo, and then we'll have to get to the theme in a moment. Oh no, uh oh, what did I do? Okay, um, trying to see if I can just immediately see something wrong, but no. So let's just. Oh, I can't believe I messed up the Monday puzzle. Okay. Oh, more ludicrous. Inaner. Oh, it was, it was, oh, right. It wasn't grab, it should have been grip. That's a much better, much, much, much better uh, synonym for hold firmly. Ah, that was ridiculous. I should have looked at this as well. Then I would have seen that Bart 2 didn't mean anything. So <laughs> common miniature golf goal or a hint to what's found in 1739 and 60 across part two. Ah, there are, no, what does that mean? There's a part here. What's the two mean? And here, Oh, no, it's not part two. Sorry, it's par two. A common miniature golf goal. Right, I see. So par two. Sorry, I, I apologize. This is this is one, this went way over my head. I'm sure many of you were just miles ahead of me today on this. So you want to uh, you want to complete the miniature golf hole in only two strokes, par two. And each of these phrases has two pars in it. Sparring partner, parallel parking, and parts department. And there we go. Each of these contains two pars, par two, the common miniature golf goal. There we go. That was what should have been a very um, approachable puzzle as Mondays are designed to be. And yet I found a way to foul it up. Sorry about that, but we got there in the end. There we have it. Our Monday puzzle complete. How did you fare with this one? Were you less uh, inept than I was? I hope so. In any case, let's move on to a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. We had, um, we did have a few. It's a Sunday puzzle, so there do tend to be, there do tend to be quite quite a few uh, because the puzzle is so large. So George Steele corrects my pronunciation of Orton, which I pronounced something like Orton or something like that. No, it's just how it looks, Orton. Uh, thank you for that. Spikel thing explains that uh, leucocytes are blood cells more commonly known as white blood cells. I didn't know that. Okay, leucocytes. I don't think I was familiar with the phrase. Oocytes are immature egg cells. That one I did know because the oo, the oo, is, is a common prefix for you know egg cells and related things. So oocytes and leucocytes. Thank you, Spikel thing. And the F and Crow and Callum Paget both pointed out that E News does not stand for electronic news, but rather entertainment news and the E refers to E exclamation point, which is an entertainment industry and celebrity gossip focused cable network. So I think I have seen that before, but it, um, was not familiar enough for me to sort of infer the E news bit. So thank you for that. And actually that was all I had. So there we go. That was the clues from yesterday's puzzle. That's been today's uh, fun Monday puzzle. And I hope you will join me for tomorrow's Tuesday puzzle. Should be another relatively accessible one. And uh, themed once again. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.